Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the long wait is over. A Nintendo Direct is coming tomorrow. So this morning... At roughly 9 a.m. Eastern Time, the official Nintendo Twitter account went and tweeted out, Tune in, 2.17 at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern for a Nintendo Direct live stream featuring roughly 50 minutes of information focused on available games for Smash Bros. Ultimate and other Nintendo Switch titles. It's happening! As one of my friends pointed out on Twitter, we have not had a normal Nintendo Direct since 2019, I believe since October of 2019, it was our last big look at Pokemon Sword and Shield before it came out. It's been so long. We, the world was normal the last time we had a Nintendo Direct, and you can't, you can't really say that nowadays. But there's a lot that could happen in this Direct. It's about 50 minutes, as the Nintendo tweet shows. Tomorrow afternoon, for me, it's at 5 p.m. on the East Coast. I'll be trying to cover that in a video as well, but this is just a video saying, oh my god, it's happening. What could we see? Well, let's hit what affects my channel the most, which is Pokemon. I don't think we're going to see Pokemon in this Direct. Now, I could be totally wrong, and we could get a game announcements tomorrow. That could happen. We might see Pokemon Unite, who knows? But I think Game Freak is saving the Pokemon content for their own Pokemon Direct or Pokemon Presents, however they're going to label it, coming next week, probably on the 25th or the 26th, so right before Pokemon Day. If I had to predict... That's when I would say we're going to see Pokemon content. As for everything else, they mentioned it in the tweet right here. We are going to be getting Super Smash Brothers Ultimate news, which means we're probably going to get a new fighter announced. I believe there's two or three more fighters left in the second DLC pass to get announced that we haven't seen yet. So we're probably going to get the next one of those tomorrow, which is going to be absolutely amazing. We, me and my friends play Smash constantly. A lot of the new DLC characters, especially Steve and Sephiroth, have been just fantastic. Also, Min Min's really good too. The DLC is going to be great. Getting to see a brand new character is going to be awesome as well. One of the other thing that other things that we're going to be seeing probably in this direct is that Zelda is probably going to be shown in some form. It's 2021 is the 35th anniversary of the first Legend of Zelda game officially releasing. It's Zelda's big 35. They celebrated Mario's 35 with re-releases and collections and special smaller titles last year. Are we going to see a similar celebration for Zelda? Zelda's not as big of a franchise as Mario, but it's just as iconic of a Nintendo franchise as Mario. The big three, Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, they always get huge celebrations. Could we see games like The Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, as I hit my mic, I apologize for that, uh, get their ports on the Wii U moved to the Switch? Could we see Grezzo, the ones that did the Zelda remake a couple years ago, do another 2D remake on the Nintendo Switch? Could we see the Holy Grail that Ryan on Twitter is doubting we will see? He told me not to go that far. I'm going to speculate. Could we see video footage, finally more of a trailer for Breath of the Wild's sequel? Is it Breath of the Wild 2? That's what the community has basically named it. What's the official title? Are we going to get a release window, a release date? I just want to see more gameplay. I, I think there's a shot that we could see another gameplay trailer for Breath of the Wild 2 tomorrow with no window of release, no, no season, no year, even though everybody kind of assumes it's going to be this year, no month. Nothing of that sort. And then once the E3 season rolls around, if Nintendo decides to stick with their general release and reveal cycle, even though E3 is going to be all digital this year, could they do another Nintendo Direct then and give us the release date or the release window with a massive blowout trailer then? When Breath of the Wild was coming out, it was three, four, almost five years of trailers and development and knowledge of this game existing. But since it seems that they're using the same engine from Breath of the Wild, it's been three years now. Could we see, I think we're going to see the game this year. That's what I've been predicting for a long time. And I think we might see that here. There's also a lot of other stuff we could see. Could we see a new Mario game? We haven't, Odyssey came out in 2017. And while we just got a 3D World port, which had Bowser's Fury, which was a brand new expansion for that game, it's not a full game itself. Could we see more Mario stuff? Splatoon is a game that I think most people assume we're not going to get a Splatoon 3 until the new console, whatever console comes out after the Switch, the next generation of Nintendo consoles in three to four years from now. 
could we see new Splatoon? It's been a long, Splatoon has pretty much stopped doing their monthly and yearly updates. They really don't do Splatfest anymore. Could we see gameplay for that? Could we see a new game in the Splatoon franchise? It's one that got incredibly popular on the Wii U, one of the only franchises that became incredibly popular on the Wii U and then continued its success on the Switch. There's so many things we could see. It's really a majorly exciting time to be a Nintendo fan. We're finally getting a direct again. There's so many things we could see. Could we see Metroid Prime 4? I don't think we are. Like, they restarted development. It would have to be another tease. There's so much we're going to see because we don't know a ton about this year. We just don't have a good picture of what this year is going to be for Nintendo besides the fact that we know it's Zelda's 35th. It's also a Metroid anniversary this year, I believe. So maybe we see another 2D Metroid port, another remaster like we saw with Samus Returns on the 3DS near the very end of its life cycle. I believe when Samus Returns came out, the Switch was already out. I think that was like September 2017 or maybe it was 2016 September. It was one of those two years that we got Samus Returns. The only other things that we know about is Pokemon. We're most people are very confident we're getting a new Pokemon game this year. The question has been for a long time, what shape will that take? Will it be Diamond and Pearl remakes? Will it be, won't be Gen 9? Will it be something brand new? There's a lot of side stuff we could see from Pokemon. We got Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX last year. Could we see another Mystery Dungeon remake? Could we see a brand new Mystery Dungeon with this new art style and look? There's a lot of side things we could see from Pokemon too, which maybe they throw in this direct instead of putting it in what might be a dedicated new game reveal direct next week. I'm very calm. I'm decently sure we're not going to see Diamond and Pearl remakes in this game or the new big game. That's going to be its own thing. Pokemon uh, Detective Pikachu getting ported to the Switch or them coming out with a sequel. Where's that? We haven't seen that in a while. There's so many good things. This is just a quick video just letting you know that this is happening and to stick around on the channel as we cover this and as we cover future Nintendo stuff. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the coverage of new stuff from Nintendo this week. And let me know down in the comments section below or let me know on Twitter. I'm at LinkyYT on all my social media channels. What do you think we're going to see? Do you think it's Pokemon and I'm wrong? Do you think we're going to see a big Zelda blowout? Do you think we're going to see a brand new IP or maybe a franchise that we haven't seen in a while or maybe something that isn't on the Switch yet? What do you think the Smash DLC fighter is going to be? Let me know over on social media and down in the comments and let's talk Nintendo because this is an incredibly exciting time to be a fan and I'll see you guys tomorrow hopefully with another video. Peace out.